printing your work. That is what it's all about. And the Canon Pro 10 S does a spectacular job. Hello. So today I'm going to be reviewing this, the Canon Pro 10S photo printer. Printing is a key component of the photography process. In the past, when we shot film, it wasn't until you got those film prints that you actually saw the work. You didn't get to preview it on the back of the screen like you do now, but it's still an important part of the process, in my opinion. And when you see a piece of work like this printed out, it's just absolutely fantastic and it makes it all worthwhile. So with this in mind, you need to consider how you're going to create your prints. Over the years, I have always sent files away to printers, but now I've had so many requests for prints that I've decided to take it to the next level by purchasing this Canon Pro 10S and it is absolutely fantastic. In the long run, it will work out to be cheaper when you take all the costs into account. And what it also does is put me in total charge of the quality control. And that's important for me, especially if I'm shipping out the work to clients. I decided to go for the Canon Pro 10S. It sits pretty much in the middle of the Pro range of printers from Canon. At the higher end, you have the Pro 1, and a little bit down, further down the range to this, you have the Pro 100. And I think this sits nicely in the middle in terms of quality and value. Like both those printers, this will print everything from four by six small images up to A3+, plus, which is 13 by 19 inches. And when you print those out, they're just absolutely magical. Like the higher end models, this Canon Pro 10S comes with the Chroma Optimizer ink. You don't get that with the Pro 100, but this 10S does have that. What that is, is a clear ink that can go, you can choose to put over the surface of your image, which increases the color gamut, it increases the glossiness of an image, and it adds a little bit extra longevity, it really makes the blacks pop and those colors pop, and it really takes those images to the next level. I've been using the Chroma Optimizer, particularly on the Canon Luster paper, which is slightly less glossy and has a sort of textured look and feel to it. And when you print out a picture, with that Chroma Optimizer ink over the top of it, using this printer, the images that come out are just absolutely fantastic. They've got a super, super professional feel to them, and they just look absolutely amazing. You can control when you do and do not use the Chroma Optimizer ink, and I've all, you can also use it on highly glossed paper, and it just puts an even glossier sheen on, which really makes the colors burst out of the image with highly saturated images. And when it comes to my water drops, this is, for me, it's working absolutely perfectly. And I love it. Let me show you the water drop. Look at this super glossy image. I don't know if you can see the gloss on there, if I move it around a bit, but that just looks absolutely stunning on this high gloss paper, high quality with that Chroma Optimizer ink. I'm just so, so pleased with it. The quality is just exceptional. One of the other things that I really like about this Canon Pro 10S is it comes with the Canon Photo Studio Pro plugin for Lightroom. Again, the Pro 100 does not have that, but the Pro 10S and above do. It gives you total control over the printer. It lets you select the paper type. It lets you view photo profiles so you can see what the image might look, look like when it's printed out. And it just puts you in total command of the printer, but it also makes it much, much easier than natively printing through Lightroom. And that is a real nice bonus that comes with this printer. Connectivity wise, this comes with a USB, a ethernet, and it is also wireless. When I first got it, I started using it with wireless and I had pretty good results, but then I started to have connectivity problems. 
it was it was dropping the wireless signal mid print and the way the printer reacted to that was to spit the piece of paper out no matter what stage of the printing process it was at and that would then ruin that particular print so the printer is plugged into my wireless router and then I can still connect to the printer wirelessly with my laptop, but the, it's hardwired into the router, which works well for me. And so far, it's been absolutely flawless. I've had no further connection issues doing that. I'm absolutely blown away by the quality of this thing. The, the quality of the prints is equal to what I, I've had from good labs in the past. It will take different types of paper as well from other companies, as well as Canon, companies like Canson, and Hanamiel, which produce some really top-notch paper. And it also will take photo rag as well, which are, again, are great for black and white. This is a 10 ink system. The Pro 1 has 12 inks and the Pro 100 has eight. And again, this sits in the middle with 10. The beauty of a 10 ink system is that when one of them runs dry, you don't need to replace a multi ink cartridge. So it does eventually start to keep costs down because if you're printing a lot of black and whites it will only be those two uh, black and white cartridges that you need to replace regularly and I, I really like that feature the printer is not very fast and it's not really meant to be it's designed for quality over speed and when you're printing these large photographic prints you, you don't really need speed there are other options from other manufacturers like epson who do the Sure Color P600, which is slightly more expensive than this, um, and that does also take a uh, paper roll, which, just, which this one doesn't, so that might be another one to look at for you. Cost-wise, this is an expensive printer. The printer comes in about £500, and then the inks, you do get some starter inks with this, but a full set of inks is about £100. But like I said, with that multi-ink system, once you've made that initial investment, you won't then need to be replacing them in one big chunk. So I've now generated enough interest in my work to justify buying this printer. And as an, to create a new outlet to uh, sell my work, I have relaunched from today the First Man Photography website. And you can find that at firstmanphotography.com. Please do check it out and let me know what you think. You can buy my prints. You can see a gallery of my work. And you can also buy the awesome.raw t-shirt and also see all of the videos that I'm putting up on YouTube over in the video section. You can download the free ebook as well. There's lots and lots to see and do over at firstmanphotography.com. I'm going to be putting up more images over the coming weeks that you can purchase from my portfolio. And then as I continue to document my work through the landscape photography vlog, when I get a particularly brilliant image that I'm really happy with, I will put that up for sale along with the video. That gives you the option to see the whole story of my work from the point of concept and creation right through the shooting on the vlog and then to the final finished product as it lands on your wall. And if you decide to buy one of my images, I will be forever grateful and I will really, really appreciate it. Please do check out the website and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think and also check out my landscape photography vlogs if you haven't done so already. I'm scaling mountains. I'm getting those regular 360 degree views. I'm also facing some of the best and worst weather the UK has to offer and I really think you'll enjoy some of those videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography with this superb Canon Pro 10 S printer out.